All right, my final take, take four. We're gonna look through several parts of the sky from the city, shooting right now from a suburb of Los Angeles with a Gen 3 unfound white phosphor image intensifier. We're staring directly at M42, the Great Nebula in Orion. You can see it there, pretty strong nebulosity. Have it with a 6x magnification lens, 162 millimeter f1.7, and a uh, there's a light pollution filter in front of that. A um, what is it? An LP 695 nanometer long pass filter. Camera is a GH3, running at 60 frames a second, 400 ISO, and there you've got Orion and an occasional meteor popping in the field. The extent of the nebula is a little bit diminished from the uh, long pass filter, but you got the central portion and a little bit of a notch to the upper left of it. That's in the Sword of Orion, and as we move up, we'll come across the three stars that make up the belt of Orion. From left to right, they're called Almatak, Elnalam, and Mintaka. And to the upper left of the leftmost star, you can barely make out what's called a Flame Nebula. Look about two of those halo diameters to the upper left, 10 o'clock position of the star in the center, and you can just barely see a bit of a dark lane kind of uh, moving vertically slightly and then bends to what uh, makes a sharp right off and a little bit of nebulosity around that dark lane. That would be the flame, which is actually kind of unusual to see in the city. But the weather has been dry the last couple days here in LA, so it's showing nicely as Orion sits up about an hour and a half, well, about an hour past the meridian. So that's the flame nebula in the belt. Horse head would be to the lower right, but that's not visible with this configuration. We move up, we'll catch the star Betelgeuse, the brightest star in Orion, blazing away. Okay, and I'm going to try something I didn't try in a different take. I'm going to go back off to the left and down a bunch and into the constellation Canis Major. And we should eventually come across the star Sirius, which is right there. That guy is pretty bright too. The dog star go a little bit lower and we'll come across a uh, open star cluster it looks a little bit like a drooping tarantula right there in the center of the field that's m41 open pretty famous open star cluster in the constellation canis major okay and what else can i do now let's pan across the sky back towards the east we'll just move over not to go too fast, but I don't want to go too slow either, okay? Don't know what that... Oh, that must be a star in Orion. We'll continue past Orion and head towards Taurus. And eventually we should come upon the star. Whoops, it's a microphone. Okay, about there, but I'm way too low. I'm gonna go up. Here we go. That bright star is El Deborah in the constellation Taurus. And it forms part of a V that's sitting vertically right now. Go down to the bottom of the V right there. Don't know what that star is called. Ooh, nice meteor. Back up to the top of the V. And I think this little, another meteor. A collection of stars right there would be, uh, I think the Hyades, maybe. And one more cluster. Let's swing over and attempt to find the Pleiades, which should be right about there. Azimuth, excuse me, go down. There we go. That's the Seven Sisters of the Pleiades in uh, Perseus, actually. Got a nice little row of, wiggly row of stars to the left of it, kind of making a shallow V. Okay, so that's the Pleiades. And I'm gonna go back to Orion for one more look at that flame. Let's pan a bit to get over there. We're operating on a half-inch telescope, FTQ mount, Altaz mount, okay, there we go. So that's the Orion Nebula. Back up quickly. A flame next to all attack. Just barely make it out. And one more time. Back to Orion. M42. And that's it. Not bad from the city. Hmm. Surprise it looks this good. Okay, good chunk of stars at 6x magnification. That will do it.